Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all are doing fine. And I'm sure you're super, super excited by the title of this video. And just look at my hair. Look at these beautiful waves and curls. They look absolutely stunning and I am obsessing over my hair today. And I'm sure you are too. And do you want to know how I got these beautiful curls? So the best part about these curls are that I didn't use any tool or heat while styling my hair today. And I'm sure you have read that by the title and that's why you are here. So yes, if you want to know how I did this, then keep on watching this video till the very, very end. I have shared a few tips in the end of the video. So make sure you watch this video till the very, very end. It is going to be really, really helpful for all of you. So yeah, keep watching. And if you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Sona Mishra and I post beauty and lifestyle content here on my channel and on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to the channel down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video that is on Tuesdays and Saturdays and shorts almost daily. So yeah, without any further blabbering, let's just dive right into this video. Okay, so let's start. Firstly, we'll gather all the things that are required to get beautiful curls or waves. Now the first and the most important thing is a dupatta. You can take absolutely any dupatta that you have or you can also take the waistbands of your dresses or even a towel. Now I'll tell you what that does. So you can see when I pull the dupatta like this, this is the diameter of it. Now this will determine how loose or tight your curls are. If you're using the waistband of a dress, you're going to get tighter curls. And if you're going to use something thicker, like a towel or something, you'll get more loose curls or waves. Okay, so that's that. The next thing that you require are some tic tac pins or even bobby pins, whatever you have in handy. Then you require two scrunchies. You can take absolutely any rubber band that you have to tie your hair. And the last thing you need is a hair serum. Just take any lightweight serum that you have. What this does is before you start curling your hair, this will tame away any frizz that your hair has and this will result in neater curls or waves. Uh, now we'll begin with the procedure and it is absolutely very, very simple. Quickly detangle your hair. Now you can do this on damp hair or dry hair as well. I always do it on damp hair right after I'm out of the shower. I let my hair air dry a little bit and after that I do this. But yesterday I tried it on dry hair and it worked as well. So it is absolutely up to you how you want to do it. So what you're going to do is you'll center part your hair. And now the parting does not have to be very very neat. You can do it whatever way you like. Now I'll take uh, some of the L'Oreal uh, serum on my hand and I will run it through my hair just to tame all the frizz. Now you can see what difference it made. I'll do the same to the other side as well. Now that that's done, you'll part your hair equally on both the sides. Now you will take your dupatta and you'll keep it on the center of your head. And now you have to secure this here. You can use bobby pin, tic tac pins or you can even use a clutcher in the center. You just have to secure this so that it does not move and your curls stay in place. I look very very funny and I'm gonna look even funnier. Now I'll show you two methods to do these curls. One on this side, one on this side. The first one is very very simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take one section of your hair from the front. Don't take two large sections. Now you're gonna take this dupatta and you will twist this hair around and bring it to the front now you take this section which is already in your hand you take another section from the front you add it to it just like we do in the french braid now you again twist it with the dupatta i'll show you once again this strand you already have in your hand you take another section from the front, add it to it, separate with the other hair. Now, you twist it with the dupatta and bring it forward. Now do this to the entire side. Now, 
Now that you have covered all your hair, the remaining part you'll just easily simply twist it with the dupatta like this. Now when you reach the end, you will tie it with a scrunchie. Now what you're gonna see is if you leave it loose, then your twist will uh, loosen up and this will not give you very beautiful and tight curls. Now obviously you have not braided your hair, you just have twisted them so this will happen. What you'll do is just twist them tightly, keep twisting it and after like when it is twisted very very tightly, you just make a bun out of it and tighten it up with the remaining dupatta that you have something like this you'll get and then you secure it at the back with the help of a clutcher so that it stays in place now it is looking very very funny now if you do this on both the sides you can also twist them take it back and then tie both of them together with a scrunchie but i'm doing it this one on only one side so i have just tied it back with a clutcher now i'll show you the second method that you can do and then i'll show you what the difference both of them makes so you're gonna take the front section again similarly and you will twist it with the dupatta bring it forward this being done you will take a section similarly from here and you will twist it with the dupatta and bring it backwards so now you have two strands and one this okay now you will make like a french braid with two strands of hair and one strand of dupatta but you are not braiding them you are twisting it the front part you will bring forward and this back strand you will add another section you have added another section now you will twist it with the dupatta and you will bring it backwards i'll show you again this front section you add another strand of hair and you twist and bring it forward this is the back section you add another strand of hair and you twist it with the dupatta and you bring it backwards now keep doing it till all your hair are covered <laughs> Now when all your hair is done, you will keep twisting the back portion backwards and the front portion forward. Now this is completely done. Again I will tie it with a scrunchie. Now with this style, you can leave it here as well because you have twisted it like a French braid. So it will not loosen but, but I prefer to twist it backwards and tie it in a bun so that my curls are tighter so both my buns are tied now i know i look very very funny but please bear with me because the results are going to be amazing so now if you're doing this on damp hair wait till your hair is dry uh, you can keep it overnight that is what i like to do and if you're doing it on dry hair wait for at least 30 minutes 30 40 minutes uh, and then we'll open it so i'll see you in a bit okay. so it has been about 30 to 40 minutes that i've kept this on and now we will open this and we'll see if it turned out good or not i am crossing my fingers that it does because i have tried it in the past but i'm really really scared what if it does not work out here in the video and then this all will be a fail but probably it should work because it has worked in the past for me and yeah so i'm first opening this one it has worked see the curls they look so so pretty i mean wow i'll quickly open the other side as well okay so you can see that this has actually worked and it looks so pretty my hair is so so voluminous and beautiful curls the difference between these two is uh, doing this way you will get more curls on the front side but the back side would still be pretty straight because you have pulled all your hair from the back and brought it forward so the curls are mostly here and not at the back but here in this side the curls are a bit on the back as well you can see the curls they look absolutely pretty i will quickly brush them and set it a little bit now these curls have turned out great and the frizz is also not that much 
so a few points that i would like to mention here are do not skip on a serum because if you do your curls are not going to be very very clean and there will be a lot of frizz in between these curls and it does not look very very nice i'll upload a picture here you can see uh, my curls are very very beautiful but they still have a lot of frizz and it does not look that nice second point if you want more tighter curls kind of noodle curls if you want you'll have to use something thinner i used a waistband once that came along with my dress and this is what the results were and it was absolutely stunning the those curls look very very pretty and also i had used serum so you can see there was no frizz whatsoever and uh, third if even if you have straight hair you can use this technique it will absolutely work because i have tried it on people having straighter hair and it did work with them and the last point i want to mention will be that if you do this on damper hair then the curls tend to be more prominent because you keep it for a longer duration of time and while your hair is wet they dry in that form only so the curls are more prominent and they do stay for a while like 2 to 3 days on my hair they stay very very properly but because i sleep with my hair as it is and i don't cover my hair while sleeping so they tend to get frizzy in about 2 to 3 days so yes the my hair lose the curls they are not very very prominent after the third day but they still hold on pretty good and i feel this is absolutely a perfect method if you want to style your hair on the go like if you are wearing any dress or anything and you are very very bored with straight hair then this technique you can do very very quickly on dry hair only you do this and while you are doing your makeup and outfit your hair will be ready and you don't have to style them i believe you just part it and they look very very pretty i, I absolutely obsess over this hairstyle i really really like it and i keep doing this time and again and also because it is heatless it does not damage my hair so what else do you need beautifully styled hair without any heat i mean that is perfect isn't it so i want all of you to try this on your hair and let me know in the comment box below if you liked it or not so yeah with this we come to the end of today's video I hope you liked it and if you did please consider hitting the like button. Now I also have some more heatless ways to style your hair. Get heatless blow dried hair, heatless waves and a lot of other ways to get heatless curls and all of them result in different type of curls. So let me know in the comment box below if you want me to share those methods with you. I'll be happy to make other parts of this video. So yeah if you do like my content I want you all to take out a moment and hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video it would mean the world to me if you like my content and join my channel so yeah I'll see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye